sum if with date. How to sum by date in Excel? How to make analysis using the sum if function? This is what we're going to see in today's video. So take a look here in this green table that I have uh, with a couple of information such as the date, order ID, customer name, basically a sales report, quantity, total, region, and uh, delivery price. So let's say I don't want to know the total sold or just take the column F and add up all the values and that's it. No. I want you to know the total sold by the date, such as, for example, January 1st, how much I sold in January 1st, how much was sold in January 2nd, and then how much was sold in, Jan in January 3rd, and so on and so on. So I want you to sum, not everything, but using a criteria, and my criteria is going to be the date. So I'm going to take here the column M to type it in total, and I, in the next, row, the next row here, I'm going to use the summary function to help me. And you can also download this spreadsheet to follow along with me this step-by-step -step in this tutorial. In the column F here, I can also type in date. And I'm going to start with the January 1st of 2024. Enter. And in the next row is January 2nd of 2024, and then January 3rd, and so on and so on. But instead of doing it manually, I can just click here in the cell where I have the first date. Click, hold, and drag down. Just, just here in the down right corner of the cell. Click, hold, and drag down. Maybe to the day, the day 20, I think it's good, because my spreadsheet just go to the day 18 of January. Now here, the total, we can start with equal sign, sum, if function, double click here to select, one, two. The first thing, that, the first argument the sum if function is asking me is about the range. What is the range that I'm going to use here? The range is about the date, because the date is my criteria. So I need to verify first what is or not the, the rows that I that I want to consider in my in my addition, for example. So the range is the range right here. I can either select like this or click here over the letter B to select the whole column. And then comma. My second argument here is the criteria. The criteria is going to be the date, January 1st of 2024, and then January 2nd, and so on and so on. Instead of manually typing in the date, I can click here in the cell to the left because it's easier. And Whenever you click, hold, and drag down the function, all the reference here in the date is going to follow along, so it's much easier to make the function like this. Draw my again. Now the sum range that I'm going to use here is I want to sum the total, so I can click here over the column F, like this. And that's it. I can close parentheses now and press Enter. This is the total sold in January 1st of 2024. The sum if function is in interesting because it's some, not everything, but some if the criteria is met. So this is what we got here as a result. I can click here in the down right corner of the cell, click hold and drag down to make sure now all the rows contain the same function, and that's it. This is the, the final result. The total sold for each one of the individual dates that I have, January 1st, January 2nd, and so on and so on. So this is how we can use the summit function in Excel, and I hope this video can help you out. And if you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos, let me know, comment down below, and I'll see you tomorrow. As Every day has a new video. I see you there.